hello dear creatives welcome back to class so in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to make a very beautiful turban style so in front of me i have my piece of fabric and this piece of fabric right here is 30 inches long and 30 inches wide then the next piece is for the band which is um 36 inches long and 12 inches wide I also have two pieces I'll be needing for my pipe. Then I have another piece for my loop which is 7 inches long by 4.5. Then I have my belt which is two pieces of 12 inches long by 5 inches width. So I'm going to be creating a V-band for this design but the V-band is quite different from the regular so first i'm going to create my pleats step by step just the way i'm showing you right now so this particular band measurement as mentioned earlier is 36 inches long by 12 inches wide if you want your band to have multiple pleats you can increase your 12 inches to about 15 inches so that you can have more than four or five pleats but if you cut it to be about 12 inches i should have about four or five tiny pleats don't forget if you want more pleats ensure that you increase your width from 12 inches to about 15 inches or 16 inches and your length can be 36 inches long and as I mentioned earlier, you need just one piece to create a V-band. It's totally different from what you have seen before, but you definitely love the outcome. This is my first split right here, so I should have like four pleats at the end of the day. So I ended up having um, five pleats. Yes, five pleats. So you see how it looks really beautiful. So I fold into two. And then I do a straight stitch on that part that I'm using my scissors to show you on a diagonal. So you sew right there because that's what will give you your V band. So this is what you're supposed to get at the end of the day. Beautiful, right? Then you pleat your base using 1.5 inches spacing. After that, it's time for me to join the band to the base. You see how beautiful I have my pleats? That's 1.5 inches spacing. And then I'm joining my band to my base. Ensure that you use pins to hold them in place because it makes the attachment really smooth and effortless. Now, what I'm doing next is to join my band to your base using my sewing machine. I want to ensure that your stitch is very straight and beautiful. So you join straight down. Be careful when you get to the middle part because that place may be bulky. So you want to take it slowly when you get to that middle part. So you see how it looks really smooth and neat so the next thing i'm going to do right now is to pleat the middle part of my turban because this turban has a pleat in the middle in the center top and at the back so you just pick the middle of your pleat with your needle and thread you keep picking in between the lines just like that till you get to the end Then once you get to the end you're going to pull the thread really tightly to gather what you have pleated so you pull it so tight and then you arrange the spacing in between just like that and then you can pass your thread back in if you want to just to ensure that your pleat is really really tight don't forget that the tighter your pleat in front is the more beautiful so you secure it back again just like you see on your screen right now and then you tighten it very well i'm hammering on this because it's really important in the outcome of your turban 
So I hope you're enjoying this class because I cannot wait to see your own version. This is my own version. I hope yours will look more beautiful than mine. So I've jumped to the part where I'm stuffing my pipe with the fiber which is very important so you remember I showed you two pieces for my pipe that I'm going to use to cross the front of my turban don't forget this is what I have and I need to stuff it with my fiber so that it can look really puffy so the one on the left is already stuffed I'm just showing you how I'm stuffing the other one and then I take it to my sewing machine I get my little pipe I showed you this piece before and I'm going to put them side, put the pipe side by side and use the smaller pipe to put the two together and then I take it to the sewing machine and run a straight stitch so that I can have my pipe um, on the same line so you sew it with your sewing machine you secure the little pipe holding the longer pipes together So I open my pipe and then I place it on my base. I place it on my base, ensure that your pipe is properly placed in the middle of the part where you have pleated in the middle of the turban. So you place it like so, just at the center, like so. And once it's fitting properly the way you want, the next thing is to pin the sides down like the edges you pin it to the base like that ensure that it's lying really flat and then you pin them down if you like your pipe can be fatter or bigger than this but this is how i want mine to be i might try another one with fatter pipes but this is just how i want mine to be so after you pin down you see you pin the other side down as well so after properly securing the pipe to the base on the edges, it's time to take it to the sewing machine to join the base. So you fold them together on each other like that. Ensure that it's laying properly on the same line. Okay. You place them properly and then you do a straight stitch from that band area all the way to the back. All the way to the back don't forget to pin please before you stitch so now it's time for me to stitch now it's time for me to attach my belt so i sew my belt first of all and i turn it inside out don't forget by the time you get to the tail end you curve the belt part like you have like a slant so that you can have that belt pointy part at the tip now it's time for me to attach this particular belt so from the back part i measure five inches five inches from the back part and that's the point where i'm going to be attaching my belt okay five inches and i'm going to attach my belt don't forget to mark both inside and outside of your cap because it's really important so that you can know the right place that you are attaching your belt so i'm turning this fabric inside out so that you can see how you see so from that middle part five inches to your right five inches to your left and i need to mark it very well so it can show so i know exactly where i'm tacking i'm tacking my belt to. so if you're not sure please measure again because it's really important so you fold the tip that's the rough edge of your belt i fold it inside out ensure that you hide that by tucking it inside not folding inside out sorry about that you tuck it inside 
to ensure that that rough part is properly hidden and after that i'm going to pin the belt to that five inches that i marked earlier so i place it on it right there and then i pin it down so after you pin down the two sides the next thing is for us to join that with a back stitch so you go um, back and forth back and forth to ensure that you properly secure this to your cap because you don't want your belt coming up while you are trying to um, wear this and tie your belt so you see it's not as hard as you think so after that you're going to pleat the back of your turban so i have my needle and thread which i'm going to be using to pleat in and out you gather it all the way down and then you you pull it tightly to ensure that you have like a very strong gathers at the back of your turban so you just go in and out really simple in and out just in and out at the back of your turban till you get to the end wow so after you pleat i'm going to turn it inside out to see all we have been working on since so let's see the final outcome wow it looks so beautiful it looks so beautiful i cannot wait to rock this can you see that super beautiful and creative wow that's the side and the back is looking equally beautiful then you have your belt to sew and to tie it's like a one size fit or you can fit any head circumference you just have to tie it to your head size so that's how it is thank you so much for joining in i appreciate you i look forward to seeing you again bye